Hello boys and girls, welcome to math class. Today we're going to be working on page 160 in our math workbook. Go ahead and grab your math workbook. If you have lost your workbook or do not have it today, grab some paper and follow along with us. We're going to start at the top number puzzles. Make sure you put your name and today's date. So it says, read each of the equations below. If it is true, circle the T. If it is false, circle the F. So we're going to use some scratch paper and we're going to go through each one of these. Number one, 18 is the same as 9 times 2. Well, I know that 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. So 9 groups of 2 or 2 groups of 9 would both be equal to 18. So that is true. Letter B. Two groups of four is the same as four groups of two. That is also true because of the commutative property. And we've worked on this when we talked about fact families. So you can see that two times four is the same as four times two is the same as something divided by two equals four and something divided by four is equal to two. And we know that the answer to that is eight. Let's look at letter C. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5, or you could say 5 is the same as 10 divided by 2. So 5 equals 10 divided by 2. Let's take two circles, and if we're going to put 5 in each one, we know that 5 plus 5 is definitely equal to 10, so this is true as well. Let's look at letter D. It says two times three is the same as six times five is the same as 30. Hmm. I know that two groups of three is the same as three plus three, which is equal to six. And I know that six times five is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 is 30 which would equal 30. So this part is true, but this part is not. So when you're looking at this one, the answer is false. Go ahead now and I want you on your own to pause the video and do letter E and letter F. Let's look at letter G together. Okay, we have three times two is the same as 12 divided by two. Three times two is the same as 12 divided by two. Well, I know that three plus three is equal to six and 12 divided into two equal groups, think about your doubles, is the same as six. So yes, this one is true. Let's look at letter H. I have my scrap paper here. 100 divided by 2 is the same as 25 times 2. Well, thinking about 25, I think about quarters, and I know that 25 plus 25 is 50, so that equals 50. Bring down my equal sign to make it nice and neat. 100 into two equal groups. What is half of a dollar? Hmm, 50 cents. So 50 plus 50 would equal 100. So 50 divided by 2 is 100. 50 is equal to 50. And that would be true. Let's look at section 2. This is going back to exactly what we were working on yesterday when we were working on, or the last video we did when we were doing unknowns and fact families. So let's look at 16 is the same as 4 times what? So write out your equation or your division. 16 divided by 4 is equal to what? 16 divided by something is equal to 4. 4 times something is equal to 16. And something times 4 is equal to 16. And this one's a bit tricky. It's actually a little sneaky because we don't actually need this one or this one. This fact family only has two facts because the factors are the same. 
4 times 4 is 16. Mary had a little 4, 8 and 12, 16. If you see, I made four groups of four and got 16. All right, let's do this one and we have to make the equation true. So two times something is the same as four times five. Well, if I have four groups of five, if I think about it that way, I can say five, 10, 15, 20, rewrite this as 20 is the same as two times something. What plus what, what double would equal 20? 10, good. I want you to do letter C on your own, letter D on your own, and then let's look at letter E. For letter E, we have 20 divided by something is equal to four. And we know that 20 divided by four would be the other factor or divisor quotient. So I'm gonna think about taking four circles and if I use cupcakes because they're my favorite, when we use food, math makes sense. So 20 divided by four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I tried to make it like a, a dice, but I didn't do so hot. So we can see that in each one of them there is five. Or there are five. So the answer is five. 25 divided by one, so that would be the same as one times what is equal to 25, and we know 25. Any number times itself is equal to itself. Therefore, the number divided by one, any number divided by one is equal to itself as well. Do letter H on your own, and try letter I on your own as well. Okay, we're going to look at J. We have 18 divided by 2 is the same as something times 3. 18 divided by 2. What doubles to get 18? 9. 9 is the same as what times 3? So I'm going to use an array to solve this for this back family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can see that three groups of three is equal to nine. So to make this equation true, I would need to add the number three. Try letter K on your own. And let's look at letter I, L, sorry. 10 groups of 10 is the same as 25 times what? So 10 times 10 is 100. If we counted by tens 10 times, we would get 100, which is the same as 25 times what? Well, 25 is a quarter. How many quarters are in a dollar? 25, 50, 75 a dollar. That's right, four. 25 times 4 is equal to 100. So the answer would be 4. Let's look at number 3. Sarah has three bags of shells. Each bag has 10 shells. So she has three bags of shells. Each bag has 10 shells. Her brother Max has five bags of shells and each of his bags has six shells. Do Sarah and Max have the same number of shells? Okay, so I'm gonna start with a little Sarah over here and we'll put Max right here. I can see that Sarah 
has three bags of 10, three of 10, and I see that Max has five bags of six, five of six, or five groups of six. Three groups of 10 is equal to 30. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. And then I know that five groups of six, or six groups of five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, is also equal to 30. So they both are equal. Do Sarah and Max have the same number of shelves? Yes, they have the same. I know because three times 10 is the same as five times six, 30 is equal to 30. Okay, so pause the video and finish writing out that explanation. And let's go back up to the top and check our work. Okay, so if the first one we had to do was letter E and letter F, E says six groups of 10, so that would be 60. Is 60 equal to 12? No, false. Let's look at this one, two groups of eight. Eight plus eight is 16. We know that four groups of four is also 16, so that would be true. Three times two is six, and when I take 12 and break it into two equal groups, I also get six in each group, so that would also be true. Oopsie, sorry about that. And we're gonna go down now to letter C and D, and then we're gonna jump over to H, I, and K. So C, what times 10 is 30? 10 plus 10 plus 10, three groups of 10. 12 divided by two, what? plus what is equal to 12 if you're thinking about a double. That would be the number six. Move over to H. Six groups of what is equal to 60? 10. 12 divided by two is six. I'm rewriting the problem. So six times what must equal six? Hmm. One. That's the identitive property. You can put IP right there. Any number times one is equal to itself. That is the property of one. And K, 10 times 10 is 100. So 50 times two is also 100. All right, friends, let's look at number four, number puzzles. This is on page 161. Brianna and Brian split $10 evenly. Hmm, Brianna and Brian split $10 evenly. Joey, Jamal, and Jasmine, that's three friends, split $12 evenly. Did all the kids get the same amount of money? Okay, so Brandon and Brian were two and they took 10 and divided into two equal groups and we know that two times five is equal to 10. So they got five dollars. So Bren, five. Brian, five. Now let's look at Jody, Jamal, and Jasmine. The J's. Jody, Jamal, and Jasmine were three friends and they took $12 and divided it equally by three. 
So I'm going to draw three circles and I'm going to pass out 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So each friend got $4. So Jasmine, 4, Jody, 4, and Jamal, 4. The question says, did all of the kids get the same amount of money? No. No. The kids did not Brianna and Brian both have five. The others have four. And that's a lot to write, so we're just going to leave it like that. You could say, I know because 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 10 divided by 2 is 5. But for the space, for sake of space, we're just going to write this. Now for number 5 and 6, you have to write a word problem to go with these equations. We'll do one together and you're going to do one on your own. So when we use food, math makes sense. So 3 times 5 is 15. Miss Gerald has 3 baskets, each, that means we're going to be using equal groups, each basket has 5 cookies. And the question is, how many cookies does she have in all? And so then we would say three groups of five is 15. I'm just going to draw three baskets here. And I'm going to put five in each. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and do number letter B on your own. I'm going to give you an example. Please do not use this problem as your problem, but you can use mine to help you. 20 divided into 4 is equal to 5. So we'll say, Miss Cheryl has 20 cupcakes. When we use food, math makes sense. She breaks them into, that's our divide word, equal groups of four. How many groups does she have? So 20 divided by four is five. Ms. Gerald has 20 cupcakes. She breaks them into four, into group, equal groups of four. So we have a group of four here, four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So there's one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. And I'm going to answer, she has five equal groups. She, I'm going to write this in cursive. She has five equal sets of four cupcakes. Remember, don't use mine, use your own. 
All right, if you're still watching, go up to the top and put a big smiley face and write, I am awesome. Extra points will be given for those papers who are turned in with I am awesome. Have a great day, friends. Learn a lot.